So first, as always, I'm priming my eyelids. Um, I did not get a close-up of any of the products I use on my eyes, so if you do want to see that, just make sure to check out the description bar below this video, and all the products will be listed, I promise. I'm picking up a light peach color that's almost kind of like um, a flesh tone and I'm just going to be placing that in the crease just so I have a nice blendable transition color for the other colors that I'm going to be putting on. I'm just going back and forth and then with the shader brush I'm using a white eyeshadow on my lid just to make it really nice and smooth. And now I'm mixing a hot pink and purple just with a blending brush and placing that a little more directly in the crease and dragging it out towards the outer tail of my eyebrows. And I'm going to be putting that back and forth, just building that color up a little bit. It's not going to be too intense yet. I'm just using um, a light hand with this just so I can have that nice kind of pop of color. Now I'm actually using NARS. Uh, what's it called orgasm blush and I kind of wanted this to be the whole lid color but it really wasn't coming out as pigmented as I had anticipated so I did change up the look a little bit but this step kind of wasn't necessary since I realized it wasn't coming out as I wanted but um, I just left it in anyway and I'm just placing that all over my lid and then I'm taking my blend oh my god my voice seriously <clears throat> I'm just taking my blending brush and blending the edges of that color. Now I'm adding this purple. It's like a very, very pink toned purple, almost like a fuchsia, but definitely more on the purple side. Um, I'm placing that on the outer corners of my eye in the crease area with a blending brush, and I'm dragging that into my actual crease, and I'm also placing that on the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm just... Um, building up that color really really slowly I find that that's best when you want to have a bright color just to build up the color slowly and use a little bit as at a time to build up that intensity I find it works a lot better than just using so much color at once so I'm just basically going to be blending this color and really intensifying it slowly And now to intensify that purple even more, I'm using the same purple with a pencil brush so I can get it really, really precisely exactly where I want it, placing that on the outer and inner corners, and then with my blending brush, connecting that in the crease and blending it out to have a nice, smooth, intense purple look. I'm also going to be adding some gold eyeshadow right in the center of my eye where I did not put any purple. And just like we did the purple, I'm just intensifying the gold little by little so we could have that nice intense gold shadow. I'm also blending out that like the outer edges of that gold with a little bit more purple not too much but I just really want to kind of have that all blend together I added some gel liner I wish I actually would have done this a little bit thicker but I am gonna take some black eyeshadow with my pencil brush and just place that in the outer corners right where we put the eyeliner and then I'm dragging that just a tiny bit into the crease and then with the blending brush I'm gonna be blending that black again with the black I'm just using a little bit blending adding a little bit more blending a little bit more and that's how you get that really nice intense black color so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing here for the next few minutes
Now I'm going to be adding mascara to my top lashes and I'm going to be fixing my winged liner just because some of the shadow kind of fell on it and I'm going to go over it just a little bit to make it even more black and intense. And after that I am going to be using my Ardell 113 lashes for this look and I'm applying that with my duo lash glue in the dark tone. So I already prepped my face with the Magic Lumi Primer and I'm using this Makeup Forever HD foundation which is a couple shades too light for my face but I did set it with a darker powder to make it look a little better. So I'm just taking my Beauty Blender and kind of pressing that into my skin. Now to conceal and highlight, I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer right underneath my eyes to brighten up my complexion a little bit. And I'm blending that in with my Beauty Blender. Also just, also just placing whatever is left on my Beauty Blender on the center of my face to brighten up the whole face. I'm setting all those areas with my Max, MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NC20 and then setting my face with Studio Fix um, Powder as well in the shade NC40. I know my brows are a mess in this video. They do not look like that anymore. I did get them done. But I am going to be filling them in with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills medium brown brow powder duo with an angled brush. I'm going to be bronzing my face with my Sephora bronzer in the shade Bora Bora, putting that in my contour areas on the sides of my cheek and also along the sides of my forehead and all those naturally bronze areas. Now for blush, I am going to be using NARS Orgasm Blush on the sides of my cheeks and blending that all together with a stippling brush from MAC. Here I'm just contouring the sides of my nose with that same bronzer and a small blending brush. I'm also going to be highlighting my cheekbones with a little bit of my, what is this, MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. Now to finish off the rest of my eyes with my blending brush, I'm going to take that same pink purple color that we used in the beginning of the video and I'm just going to be sweeping that underneath my eyes to give them a more sultry, smoky effect. And I'm also going to be using that gold that we use on the center of our eyelids and I'm placing that right in the inner corner and just dragging it out a little bit to blend in with the pink purple color that we just used. I don't like how like the inner corners of my eyes have the pink in there. I didn't realize that as I was doing it, but now that I'm looking at it, that looks really, really bad. So if you are going to recreate this look, just be careful of that pink color all the way in that inner corner. So now I am adding some mascara to my false lashes as well as my bottom lashes. 
And now for the lips, I am lipping, I'm lipping, I am lining my lips with Soy Lip Liner from MAC and just blending that in. I don't want the lip liner too heavy, I just want to use it to line my lips and give them some extra shape. And for the lipstick, I'm using MAC Sweet and Sour, which I just mentioned from my most previous video, my haul video. This combination of lip is my favorite, and I'm using MAC Lip Gloss in lots of laughs. I'm then going to just intensify underneath my bottom lash line for a little more intense look with that purple color. And this is the final look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Oh, here I'm spraying my Fix Plus. Yes, so I did. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think down below. Make sure to give it a nice thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.